Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10, Gladiator Tunnels. 2,000 years ago, men fought to the death in Rome's great Colosseum. But before the battles, these men had to get themselves ready. What a lot of people don't realize is that the Colosseum was also a training area. Behind the scenes was a gym, a training yard, and an entire underground network beneath the arena floor where the gladiators prepared themselves. Just to get to the fighting floor of the arena, gladiators had to move through these secret tunnels and then take an elevator up. That was when they were finally met by the roaring applause of over 70,000 spectators. Gladiators weren't the only ones who prepared themselves in the underground tunnels either. This was where the wild beasts were kept before they were sent to the fighting floor to be slaughtered. Animal handlers also hung out down here, and slaves worked to prepare weapons and armor. It was nearly as busy underneath the actual floor of the Colosseum as it was on top. Number 9. The Caves of Longyu The Longyu Caves in China are considered by some to be the ninth wonder of the ancient world. This place can be found today in the Xijiang province, a mysterious underground complex of tunnels and rooms that were carved by unknown hands thousands of years ago. What's truly mysterious about these caves is that there are no historical records in China that they ever existed. No one knows who built them, how they pulled off such an amazing task, or why they would do so in the first place. These caves were discovered accidentally in 1992, when farmers drained some nearby ponds. Suddenly, five separate caverns appeared along with 19 smaller caves. At first, everyone thought it was a natural wonder, but there are supportive pillars and imprints from tools and carvings. More recent research shows that each cavern has one entrance with a vertical shaft to collect rainwater that would then be directed by a small channel down into a water trap. Whoever dug out the caves had to remove somewhere around 1 million cubic meters of rock. And seeing as this was thousands of years ago, and ancient people didn't have anything more advanced than maybe stone tools and some metal, it seems almost impossible. Archaeologists are working on trying to figure out what technology was used to carve out the underground chambers, some of which are nearly 90 feet in height. It looks like everything could have been done with chisels of different sizes. Pottery found on the ground suggests the caves date back to around 2,000 years ago. Of course, since the ancient civilization here left nothing else behind that we have been able to find yet, some have suggested this could have been a secret Anunnaki construction project from when they visited Earth. A more likely scenario is that it was made by a group of ancient people we just haven't learned about yet. The Longyu Caves are still a huge mystery to scientists. The strangest part by far is that not a single mention of the caves can be found throughout recorded Chinese history. It's like nobody ever knew they existed, and yet the project to build them would have been huge. It would have taken many years and a massive amount of labor to complete. What do you think this place could have been for? An ancient quarry? A ceremonial site? Palace? Storage? Let me know in the comments below! Number 8. The Cave Castle Pradyama is an underground cave castle hidden at the bottom of a valley in southwest Slovenia. Its entrance is halfway up a vertical cliff face at a height of around 400 feet. But even though it's so high up, it's also incredibly deep down. It was constructed sometime around 1202 by an insane group of builders who managed to tunnel straight through the cliff into a series of caves. The result is something both beautiful, captivating, and a little terrifying. Pradyama actually looks quite a bit like Bran Castle or Dracula's Castle in Romania, except that it's hidden deep in the recesses of a dark, dank cave. The most interesting story surrounding Pradyama involves the Baron Erasmus von Lug. He was a local hero who robbed the rich and gave to the poor like Robin Hood. But he had to flee to the castle in the 1480s after he killed the marshal of the imperial Habsburg court. The emperor was so angry that he ordered a siege on the castle, but Erasmus refused to leave. He was able to keep himself secure in the castle by using its network of secret underground tunnels to collect provisions and rainwater. The underground passages allowed him to get 13 miles away to the Vipava Valley to collect fresh fruit like cherries. But finally, after one year under siege, Erasmus met his match. 
It happened when he went to an outhouse on the third floor terrace. As he was using the outhouse, a cannonball came hurtling through the air and crushed him as he tried to relieve himself. And that was the end of the siege. Number 7. Creepy New York There is a secret underground tunnel hiding beneath the New York City streets. It's called the Atlantic Avenue Tunnel, and most New York City residents have no idea they are walking over it during their everyday lives. The tunnel was constructed way back in 1844 by Cornelius Vanderbilt. It was the first attempt in New York at a subway system. But the tunnel was never finished. It was abandoned and workers capped the project off in the 1850s. Rumor goes that a group of Irish immigrants were told they had to work on Sundays by their British contractor, so they killed him and then buried him behind one of the walls. It's possible that the skeleton of that murdered man may still be hiding down there. What's really crazy is that the tunnel was completely forgotten about until the 1980s, over 130 years later. It was only discovered by a man who accidentally went down the wrong manhole and found himself in the abandoned tunnel. The city saw a way to make money from the mysterious underground system by offering tours to curious tourists. But the tunnels closed off pretty quickly after due to safety hazards, and to this day, it remains sealed off and restricted to public eyes. Number 6. Abandoned Anderson Shelters all throughout Britain, there are abandoned Anderson shelters from the days of World War II. They have been there for 80 years, mostly collecting dust and many of them forgotten since their entrances are sealed. The few shelters that are still open are full of bugs, graffiti, foxes, and teenagers up to all kinds of shenanigans. Anderson shelters got their name from Sir John Anderson. He was the British Lord in charge of air raid precautions back in 1938. He devised a system of corrugated steel made to form a semi-circular dome, and people could install them as shelters underground in the backyard. They were for everyday folk, to protect them from the German air raids and from a potential invasion by the Nazis. England was so worried about the bombs being dropped by Germany that they constructed over 2 million of these shelters and family yards. All these years later, many of them are still there. Londoners use them for storage to host kids parties, and some even use them as backyard garden offices. But many are still beneath the earth, covered in overgrown shrubs and dirt to the point that homeowners don't even know that they're back there. Number 5. The Secret Martini Bar One of the palaces belonging to the Queen of England boasts a secret underground tunnel leading to a cocktail bar. At least this is according to Richard Eden, one of the editors for a local British newspaper. He described a conversation he had with Jack Brooksbank, the husband of Princess Eugenie. Jack also happens to work as a brand ambassador for a tequila company. He says there is a tunnel that goes beneath the streets of London all the way from St. James Palace to Duke's Bar. What this means is that the Queen herself, as well as any other member of royalty hanging out at St. James Palace, has a discreet way to travel underneath the city of London to get to the swankiest cocktail bar for a thousand miles. But this doesn't mean the queen is actually sneaking out and going there. In fact, no king or queen has lived in the palace since the 19th century, when Queen Victoria moved to Buckingham Palace. Still, St. James Palace is usually filled with royal bureaucrats. These days, it's probably them using the secret tunnel for their after-work drinks if for no other reason than that they can. Pretty convenient. Number 4. Secret Rooms Under Washington Avenue In St. Louis, danger lurks underneath the sidewalk of Washington Avenue. Derek Langeneckert knows the danger all too well. He was driving his forklift down Washington Avenue during the 2017 Rise Up Beer Festival when all of a sudden the sidewalk collapsed. He and his forklift tumbled into a cavern. Derek had been carrying a load of beer kegs for the festival. When he fell, so did the kegs, blowing up and scattering every which way. Derek himself broke his back from the fall and was stuck in the hospital in terrible agony. He is recovered now, but he almost died. Naturally, Derek sued the city. Throughout his lawsuit, he discovered that the city is actually hiding the fact that there are dozens of hidden rooms all along Washington Ave. 
The sidewalk is basically a suspension bridge. Even the hole that he fell through is only now covered with plywood and a concrete overlay. It's strong enough for pedestrians, but not for a forklift carrying thousands of pounds of beer. But just what are these secret rooms? They are hidden basements from the 1900s. Shopkeepers had little stores set up down here with glass ceilings to let in natural light. But underground shopping is a thing of the past, and all these basements have been neglected for over 100 years. The decay is real, and Washington Avenue is essentially hollow. It's at constant risk of totally collapsing, swallowing up anyone unfortunate enough to be walking up the street when that happens. Number 3. Lost Nuclear Bunker In the 1950s, everyone was worried about a nuclear bomb being dropped somewhere and destroying everything. The United Kingdom was worried about being attacked by the Soviet Union, and so, similar to the Anderson shelters in the 1930s, the government began to create bunkers. This time, they needed to build reinforced concrete bunkers underground that would survive a nuclear strike. These were significantly more robust than the backyard garden shelters I told you about. One of these bunkers was in the Essex countryside, three stories underground. It was linked directly to the Royal Air Force radar defense system to track and intercept any enemy assault. The bunker, which today is a secret tourist destination that most people don't know about, is 125 feet beneath the earth. The only way in is through what appears to be an ordinary bungalow. The bungalow was designed as a secret entrance so that nobody would know there was a nuclear bunker in the otherwise peaceful countryside. But this isn't the only one. Not far from the secret bungalow bunker, there is a railway station that opened in 1865. It was taken over by the official London Underground in 1949, right around the time that everyone realized nuclear war might be inevitable. It wasn't profitable, and almost nobody used it. And then it closed in 1994, just as the threat of war seemed to dissipate. Many people believe there is a secret underground bunker at the station that the government would have used to whisk people away to safety in the event of an attack. Number 2. Tunnels Under the Floor A man in England was looking through photos of his family's estate when he came across something strange. Freddie Goodall is a 23-year-old property developer who lives in his family's mansion, which happens to be over 500 years old. When he was looking at old pictures of the house, he noticed a doorway he had never seen before in the library. He went to look for himself and realized there was a secret passage hidden behind a bookshelf. There was a door in the picture, but no door any longer. After a bit of fussing to figure out how to get behind the wall, he discovered a secret passageway leading to a set of underground rooms. This is some real bat cave kind of stuff. The tunnel led to a ladder which descended to a huge room filled with cobwebs and spiders. It was a rabbit hole that continued into an even deeper sub-basement, more secret rooms, and too many secret passageways to count. Now Freddy had no idea any of this stuff existed. He did a bit of research and found out the secret tunnels were probably used by these servants of the estate hundreds of years ago. The tunnels allowed them to move throughout the property without getting in the way of the landlords. Seems like pretty extreme measures to take. Times sure have changed. Number 1. Staten Island Iron Mines Between the 1830s and 1880s, over 300,000 tons of iron ore were mined on Staten Island. This iron ore was refined and used in some of America's earliest iron foundries, but there is almost no evidence left of the enterprise today. Most of the mines are flooded, all of them are abandoned, and the few that weren't filled in are now secret and hidden. One of the most important iron mines anywhere on Staten Island was at Todd Hill. Iron mining began here in the 1600s, with much of the landscape being shaped by the miners coming in and carving out the land to create strip mines. By 1880, open pit mines were being converted into underground mines, and there were horizontal shafts over 100 feet long. German and Irish immigrants, making about $1 a day, pulled somewhere around 12 tons of iron ore out of the earth every hour. But by 1881, the iron had gone dry. The entire area of Tot Hill had been completely drained and the mines were abandoned. 
There is nothing left today except secret shafts hidden underneath neighborhoods where houses cost upwards of a million dollars. One of the very last remnants of iron mining can be found on Richmond Road, but it's not a mine shaft. It's an old house built in 1684. David J. Tyson, the man who opened the iron mines on the hill way back when, used it for his personal home. Thanks for watching! Would you spend the night in any of these underground places? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time! Bye!